Shogo has a third route? I mean... I... Guess that makes sense? Cause we ran into everyone else except for the beckoning light. What? When the body, soul, and mind of Seiman Tsuchimikado have all been brought together, the rite of cleansing is activated, dispelling all rituals and curses that have previously been performed. Oh, so he's just gonna... He's gonna obtain all this knowledge all of a sudden. What Was this a spirit and not a curse that goes? What is this? Storyteller? D do you... Why are you interrupting this right now? Do you, do you have something important to tell me? Because I'm already oblivious. What is happening? My, my. Finally, you have arrived at this juncture. I expected no less from you. That would mean that you have managed to bring everything to light. Though there is the possibility that you have wound up here by chance. Oh yeah, it was definitely by chance. I mean, I thought I was going to have to go back to, B to uh, Mio and Erio and uh, do something there. And do something better. <laughs> Finish the ritual there. I... Shogo, I thought, was completely done. So, before I take you any further, I must ask you a number of questions. Oh, this again. About what exactly the soul, mind, body of Seimantsuchi Mikado are. Firstly, which curse echo represents the soul of Seimantsuchi Mikado? The beckoning light. Yes, that is exactly it. After his defeat at the hands of Ashino in the Honjo incident, Seimon wandered about near Honji. The form of his curse echo changed over time with the legend he left behind. This is the curse echo which was acquired by Mayu Chozawa. Yes, yes it was. But when called forth by Seimon's body and mind, it appeared momentarily before him. Let us continue. Who served as the self of Seimon Tsuchimikado? Who was his body, his descendant who carried his blood in their veins? Um So we know his blood descendants, right? His blood descendants were Hajime and Michio. But Mio also mentioned that it could be anyone with strong soul sense. And that's something that threw me completely off because it was like, well, it's either Mio or Yoko because they are notably two characters who have really strong spirit sense. And then Yoko killed us. So... <laughs> who... <laughs> who was it? <laughs> I feel like, um... It has to be one of the two who died. But it needs a living. It needs a living one. Right? That was one of the requirements. Is It needs a living... Do I have the requirements here somewhere? 
Okay, okay. A living continuation of my bloodline. Living continuation. So it's either Mio or it's y uh, Yoko. I... Hmm. Is it Yoko? I'm gonna write Yoko. I'm gonna write... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna write Yoko. His spirit. His consciousness. Can you say myself? I don't know. I'm gonna write Yoko. It's either it's either Yoko or Mio. But it has to be Seimon Tsuchimikado. Oh, it's not Yoko. Mio? It's neither of them. Who served as the self? Served past tense? So... Well, the only one to possess a body was Michio. But she died. Huh? Oh my god, was it Shogo? Shogo! It was Shogo and he got down bad for Yoko, the psychopath, and he died. Although Shogo Okie was born to an ordinary family, the blood of a distant relative ran thick in his veins. No, I don't remember! In truth, the same is true for Yoko Fukunaga, so why didn't you accept Yoko as an answer? Or she was the Onyoji. Uh, uh yeah, Ashino, okay. She was also one who had the blood of a distant relative coursing through her. In her case, it was Ashino. Seimon and Ashino fated to meet again all these hundreds of years later. Now for my final question. Can we... Shogo! Wait, where do I... Uh, persons of interest. Shogo. Shogo. No! I don't remember where he talks about it. All I remember is, like, in terms of spirit sense, is Yoko says he has something special. He's got the humors. I, I guess... I guess that's her calling it out. Who is the mind of Seiman Tsuchimikado? Tell me the name of the person whose consciousness was directly tied to his... Huh? What? <laughs> huh? Who is the person? I see, okay. This throws me off because I thought we were just gonna summon his spirit with the Ouija board again. Who is the person whose di consciousness directly tied to his? Who? 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 Is it Shoko? <laughs> like, I really want to say Mio, but we're going down Shoko's route and he doesn't know who, sh who Mio is. And if, if Shogo is the... If, if Shogo is the, the, the descendant, why not have his spirit invade his mind? Hmm. 
Oh, I see. You believe it to be show so it's not Shogo. The answer to this is most important, so please answer me once more. Who is the mind of Seiman Tsuchimikado? Is it Storyteller? <laughs> is it me? Huh? <laughs> Wait, no! I must be! Because I'm like... I'm the one who's like... People keep referencing, huh? Why do I know that? Is there a thought coming into my head? Is it me, the player? But it can't write me. Do I write my Steam name? Well, it can't though. Like, people have long Steam names. Is it... Can I... Is it me? Yes! Are you certain? <laughs> yes! You're correct. Finally, you have remembered. I mean, I wrote me and you said it was wrong. So I feel like that is an issue with you, storyteller. Like, I should have gotten that right. Like, you didn't, you didn't have to, like, say I was wrong. That's just misleading. That's right. You are... Jiminy Cricket! Simon's consciousness, awoken by the curses and the rite of resurrection. However, having lost your memories, you forgot about the duty assigned to you. This is, if I may say so, where I played my part, guiding you through the events of this story. As your consciousness was all that was left of you, you manipulated time and space by way of the story chart, jumping from vessel to vessel. So am I just like a... like a whispering spirit? Am I that beckoning light? And manipulated your host's actions by whispering commands into their ears. In doing so, you were able to get the full picture of what needed to be done. But at one point, while still unconscious, you managed to remember your duty. The so-called mastermind behind these events, the one who awakened the right and the curses, was Yoko Fukunaga, descendant of Ashino herself. You unconsciously activated your curse and killed her. As she should have been! How interesting that she awakened Seimon's consciousness at the same time as the curses. That was the one and only time she could have been stopped. Huh. But, due to your influence on Shogo Okio's will, Yoko Fukunaga was brought back to life. He just wanted the girl, man. Using the story chart to undo her death, I led you to believe that it was the work of the Rite of Resurrection itself. But as it turns out, seeing what would transpire if the mastermind was not killed at the outset is what ultimately revealed the way to put an end to the curses for good. There were certain things which would have answered all your questions had you noticed it. The storyteller, you ask really hard questions, okay? And, and, like, you make me think I'm wrong when I'm not wrong. Like with the me. Like with the caster. Like, that's still me. For example, even while under your control, Shogo Okie willingly used his curse. Yeah, I know that. When I asked you early on how many Shogo Okie had killed, this is what I meant. Yeah, I got that, you know, after, afterwards. After. Had you not used the curse, Shogo Okie would have done so of his own accord. Furthermore, Mayu Chozawa was able to recall information which only you knew. 
She was able to do this because she was connected to you through her curse echo, the beckoning light. Yoko Fukunaga! In truth, Yoko is a descendant of Onmyoji who continue to practice in modern times. Her ancestor, Ashino, attempted to steal the Rite of Resurrection and Honjo during the Edo period. Born with exceptional spirit sense, Yoko learned about her own ancestry while researching her roots and was disappointed to find her bloodline had fallen into mediocrity. She became consumed with the ambition to restore her family's lost glory through her own powers and devised a scheme to succeed where Ashino failed and performed the Rite of Resurrection. Yoko continued her training, developing her spiritual and cursed powers until she discovered the Record of Faith, which offered clues regarding the Rite. She plotted to use the curses of the Seven Mysteries of Honjo to gather a large number of soul drinks by calling forth curse echoes and setting the stage for mutual slaughter. The ultimate plan involved invoking a large-scale Feast of Shadows, awakening the curses, performing the rite herself, and bringing together enough soul drinks to revive Ashino. Since the effects of the curses increase the more people know and fear them, she first entrusted the Record of Fates to local historian Hideki Araishi, who could be used to easily spread the rumors. She also contacted Fumichika Nejima, a criminal with a deep understanding of mystic arts, to obtain the curse stones needed to gather soul dregs. Unsurprisingly, Nejima was very interested in the story of Ashino and readily agreed to aid his revival. While carrying out these steps, Yuko learned of the existence of the Yin Scroll, which threatened to thwart her plans. She added a note about the scroll in the Record of Fates before giving it to Araishi, intending to acquire it before it could pose an issue. So that was fake. Through her investigations, Yoko discovered that Hajime Yoshimi was a descendant of Seimon and threatened him with a curse in an effort to scare him into revealing the whereabouts of the Yin Scroll. While Hajime bravely resisted Yoko's threats, she killed him with the curse to ensure Seimon's descendant would not stand in her way. As her preparations were coming together, Yoko obtained the seemingly less dangerous curse stone of the Whispering Canal in order to become a curse bearer, a necessity for gathering the curse stones for the Feast of Shadows. Shogo Okie, also a descendant of Seimon, was eyed as a potential risk factor and contacted to ensure he would be located nearby and subject to monitoring. However, unaware that the spirit of Seimon would be awakened within Shogo as soon as she invoked the curse, Yoko's plan was thwarted when she was immediately cursed to death by Seimon. Now, allow me to ask you one last question. If you, knowing all that you know now, had the ability to resurrect one life, what would you do? So he asked this at the beginning, and initially I answered with, I wouldn't want it, let someone else have it. Knowing what we know now, and how much death and carnage it costs, I wouldn't want it, I would destroy it. It's interesting because these are now new answers, um, and each of these is an opinion of one of the characters. Like this one, I'd use it even if I had to sacrifice myself was Ayame's point of view. I'd use it even if I had to sacrifice someone, which is basically everyone who killed someone. So, so Haruwe, this was Haruwe's thinking. She didn't kill anyone, but this was her thinking. This was um, Yoko's thinking, obviously. This was Nejima's thinking and um, Namagaki. 
I'd use it if it came at no cost. I don't think any of the characters themselves had this mode of thinking. But, um... Seimon did want to give it willingly. The ability to resurrect someone to the family of Jinkichi. I wouldn't want it, let someone else have it. That was my original thought process. And I wouldn't want it, I would destroy it. I feel like this is the right answer here. Oh, I see. I see. That was Seiman's original intention. I apologize for leaving it out of the options when I first asked you this question. Now, it is time to bring things to a close. Upon your arrival here, the rite of cleansing was activated, dispelling all other rituals and curses. Look upon the fruit of your efforts, and then we shall leave this world behind for good. Thank you, truly, for all the work you have done. <laughs> That's what happened? I can't believe it. I finally understand. Yeah, I was the one who did that to Yoko. The blood of the Onmyoji that's inside me broke into my consciousness and gave me that curse. Yoko was after the Rite of Resurrection. She was the one who awakened the curses of the Seven Mysteries and cast the Feast of Shadows. And the only way to stop all of it was to put a stop to her here. Otherwise, the rite of cleansing might have been negated too. I wonder how much of it was really her doing all those things. Yoko. I guess that explains why I felt like it was fate when this all started, though she didn't seem to notice. I guess things were always destined to end like this, from the moment we met. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. No. No point in thinking like that now. Isn't Yumioka still standing there while you're having this little monologue? God, I need a drink. Isn't Yumioka still there? <laughs> I'm thinking a Moscow Mule, or two, or three. Oh, so we're just gonna ignore Yumioka and the fact that he wanted to shank you not two seconds ago. How do I shake him at midnight, huh? Ma'am, what is it? Uh, just a dream. It seems that it was all just a dream. I dreamt that there was such a thing as the rite of resurrection. Just a dream. I'm sorry to say it, but there isn't. Right? Of course not. But even if there is no such thing, I promise you that I will get to the bottom of the kidnapping. In fact, I've happened to find a very important lead from over a year ago. Something that's evaded our reach until now. An eyewitness from the scene of the kidnapping. I see. And here's Tetsu and Arlene. They found a body. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The hell is this? The medical unit told me to get down here, but what happened? As I was looking into Yoshimi's death at the former Yasuda Gardens, 
Another body was discovered at a different park in the area. Could they be related? Hmm. It sure looks like it, but... Excuse me. We found this among the victim's belongings. Thought you'd want to know. Hmm? What is it? What? What the hell? Boss! Look what was in the female victim's address book! Yoshimi's phone number and photo! What? And the picture. There's an X drawn on it. And a bunch of weird symbols. And a hole! Where his heart would be. No. Do you think... I mean... Could this be? Some kind of curse or something? How many times do I have to tell you not to try to connect everything to the occult? Damn it. Is this a Nakagoshi case after all? Hmm? What was that, boss? Because everything reset, Edio doesn't know about the Paranormal Affairs Bureau. They're not gonna be all chummy! Uh, don't worry about it. Make sure you put that photo into evidence. There's no doubt this is related to Yoshimi. Make sure you do a thorough sweep of the area. I'm gonna make a phone call. Got it. Leave it to me. Spend as long as you want on the phone. Mio! It turns out Michio really did die in an accident. Yeah, if we ask around, we might be able to get a little more information. I guess there never really was such a thing as a rite of resurrection. But I did feel like there was a spirit watching over us. It was Michio. Damn it, why? Nothing's happening! But now my contract won't be... No. I should have never believed in this blasted record of fates. <laughs> to all of you watching from far, far away, the right of resurrection has never existed, not in any world, not in any time. So I ask you to take the life you hold and move boldly forward one step at a time. Richter! You eyes out. Do you want to question him? Hang on, Erio. I want to get enough evidence for a search warrant. Let him go for now, and I'll follow him. That's the kidnapper? And he doesn't die. Ugh. Yes, I'm the one who did it. So, so please, help me! She's... She's always following me. He's talking about Michio. I'm sorry, Michio. I had no idea. What? Hachime was killed? By this Yoko Fukunaga? How can that be? He wasn't the kind of guy who could just be picked off like that, you know that. Yeah, and... Boss is hiding something too. Seems to be some kind of secret hidden in Hajime's family tree. Let me see if I can find out what it is. It's going so fast. I had heard you would be absent today. Is there something you need? Well, I seem to have this spirit sense thing all of a sudden. I know it's the sort of thing our chairwoman doesn't approve of, so I thought I'd mention it. I could have called. Didn't think you were the standoffish type. I had to find out from you why. Whoops, sorry. I forgot all about my favorite chief inspector. The hell are you planning? 
Nothing so heinous as you're thinking. I'm only Makoto Ashimi after all. Nothing but a lowly janitor. How are things with you? You getting along with your daughter? Well, you know, more or less. so good I mean I was saying I, I was saying that about um, the previous ending too like everything hit so hard once everything came together I mean we ended up failing the previous ending obviously but <laughs> this game is so good the storytelling once it all started making sense was really well done. That was such a good game. Oh, we got the other files! Thank you for playing our game all the way to the very end. We look forward to the day we can present you with another Paranorma site. Sincerely yours, Nakagoshi. Oh my god, I would love another Paranorma site.